Hello, this is Burn, and if you want to stop feeling jealous in your life once and for all, you know that feeling that your blood is boiling, and if you really think about it, there's no real reason for it other than your insecurities, stick around because I'm going to mystify how to stop that feeling from invading your life today. Hello, this is Burn, welcome to your great life tree.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love you crave and I'm super pumped because I'm going to be sharing with you right now how to stop feeling unnecessarily jealous. I'm not talking about the kind of jealousy that's justifiable, meaning your guy is being a dick and he's doing something that he shouldn't be doing, something shady, something that's breaking your rules and boundaries. If that happens and you feel, well, man, you're breaking your rules and boundaries as a couple, that's one thing and feeling jealous, feeling like your boundaries are being crossed. But many of you feel jealousy for no reason whatsoever. A beautiful woman comes around and you feel jealous. Your friend gets a new job or a promotion, you feel jealous. Somebody else, uh, I mean, has something you don't have and you feel jealous. Or a guy is doing something that is perfectly normal and okay, but your insecurities kick in and you feel, well, he's gonna prefer her to me because she's this and that and that, and you start feeling less, you start feeling anxious. If that ever happens to you, I want to stop once and for all. So the first way to really get this is make the difference between what's really a justifiable reason to be jealous about something and the reason that's just out of whack. And if it's something that's out of whack, stop judging yourself and recognize the essence of that meaning for you. So to give you a practical example, a woman walks next to you and she's radiant and she has a perfect 10 butt. And you say, wow, I mean, I start, you start feeling that pull like, oh, my butt doesn't look that way. Instead of feeling that way, say, well, what is, my, what is this telling me? If I really, either it could be telling you nothing or if you are not being healthy, if you're not exercising, if you're not eating healthy meals, that might be telling you, hey, let's do something to get my body not to look like that. I mean, I don't want to be her to be the best version of me. Or maybe if you feel jealous about somebody's success and you're in a dead end job that you hate, your essence of a jealousy is telling you, you know what? You better start doing something you enjoy more. So how about start maybe 30 minutes a day practicing something that you're really into so that you stop feeling jealous. Because here's the thing, I mean, like, if you're in progress of getting what you want, you feel a lot less jealous because you're progressing towards the goals that you want. So step number one, okay? Step number two is know your strengths and bet on your strengths 100%. Here's the thing, many of you, when you're comparing yourself to other women, when you're being jealous unnecessarily, are focusing on somebody else's strengths without recognizing the amazing value that you have and all your strengths. So I want you to make a list right now, today, of the strengths that you have, the things that you possess, and really start focusing on them, so really start playing them up, and really start stepping into them. That's step number two. Step number three is stop comparing yourself to other women. Like, stop doing this insanity thing, you know? Uh, here's the thing. I've mentioned this in other videos, but this becomes even more important when you're talking about jealousy. The moment you become jealous about someone, you're comparing yourself to someone. You are unique. <laughs> you are special. So if you feel like somebody else has something that you don't have, you're comparing yourself to that person and you always lose. I mean, no matter what happens, there will always be somebody who has more money, somebody who is smarter, somebody who has, I don't know, one feature better than yours. But let's go to number four. <laughs> number four is recognize your uniqueness, okay? So if you stop comparing yourself to other people and you recognize that you are fucking unique. There is not another human being, another woman on planet Earth who has the exact same, same set of skills and values and virtues and beauty that you have, if you recognize that the man who connects with you, if he's the right guy, he's going to love that set of skills in conjugate, the whole thing, and that's the thing that makes him want to connect with you. It's not the fact that you're successful. It's not the fact that you have a great body. It's not your great smile. It's not your big heart. It's a combination of all those things, and all those things create a very specific and unique resonance. And that unique resonance makes a guy want to connect with you regardless of him finding one or two or three of those skills in somebody else. They don't have everything that you have. So if you really play your skills up, you understand that that's what's supposed to happen. Somebody connecting with you at that level and choosing you irrespective of what somebody else has. Now, here's a kicker for number five. Go for the highest resonance. Here's what I mean. If you're connecting to a guy and the guy that you're connecting with doesn't feel like your unique resonance is the highest frequency for him, you'll always feel insecure next to him and you'll always be jealous of other women. So when I say go for highest resonance, I mean don't settle for a relationship where the person you connect with, the man you connect with, doesn't find all the combination of skills and virtues that you have super powerful. If he's wishy-washy about them, if he's, they're cool but they're not amazing, fuck that, go for somebody else, okay? Because the guy that loves you, 
the guy that connects with you, the guy who understands you, will value everything you have, the unique resonance of you more than anything else. Thank you so much for listening to this. If this is valuable for you, if you think this is insightful, I'm going to ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, most important of all, if you do nothing else, on the description of this video or on your screen right here, there's gonna be a button. There's gonna be a button that allows you to sign up to a free live webinar that I'm hosting where I'm gonna show you a three-step blueprint to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Super powerful and it's free. If you have any questions for me, post a comment below this video. Let me know what you think about this. Uh, what's your biggest thing about jealousy? What's your biggest breakthrough regarding this? And let's create the dialogue here, okay? Thank you so much for connecting with me. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and conscious life. Oh,